Hi guys, it's Ray. Today we're going to start a feather mold. I have some silver foil in this cup of resin. So I'm going to get that mixed. And the foil pieces will break down more as I mix them. Um, I'm using these imitation silver leaf uh, by Kimo Kino. Kino. It's two ends. Um, that comes in a three pack from Amazon. I will try to get the link below for these. Um, it comes with the silver, the gold, and a copper, which the coppery color works well with anything rose gold you're working on. So, uh, this mold should take about three and a half ounces of resin. So, I'm mixing my biggest cup in the silver leaf. Just trying to make sure there's no big, big chunks. I'm going to first pour a tiny bit of clear just around the edge so that it can start working its way down. <clears throat> and then I'm going to pour my silver all the way around. That was a big chunk. So I'm going to try and catch that. Break it up a little bit more. Okay. And we're going to go back to my pouring. Because I want the silver to work its way to the edge. I don't want the silver on the back side so much. And yes, my mold is stained pink. It should not come off on this transfer, hopefully. Otherwise, this one's going to have a little bit of silver pink to it. But I'm just going to poke along the edge with this popsicle stick just to make sure if there's any bubbles forming they start to release and to hopefully encourage some to go in that um, I don't know the quill is that what the end of the feather is I think Well, a nib, something. So, that's the silver layer. I'm gonna drop it a couple times too. Just give it a little bounce. Okay, so I have my little black, and I did not grab. I'm going to use a tiny bit of the Pinata Mantilla Black Alcohol Ink. I don't even actually think I want that much. I just want a very thin transition of a... Um, more translucent black. So I'm gonna swirl that in. The ink will be a little bit more of a clearer black. And I'm gonna do a thin thin band all the way around. Okay. 
and I'm just going to take a little stick and kind of push some of that down into the silver a little bit. It will hopefully just um, swirl in a little, but maintain um, a bit of a translucent look. And hopefully this will help push out any bubbles that are forming up there or down there, wherever there. So <clears throat> the last step is a darker black for the back side. So for that, I'm going to use my Illumilite Black Opaque Resin Dye. Squirt a little of that in, mix it in. I'm using the same stir stick because black and black, it didn't matter. But you can see how much of a richer black that is. And I may have to mix up a little bit more if this doesn't quite fill. not the end of the world. I didn't want to over mix too much because I don't need any black for anything else right now. So I'm going to mix up a little bit more. dye. I may just be able to work with what's in the cup already. The um, foils do tend to go absolutely everywhere, so... that should be plenty to consider this full. This mold, the ends tend to be full and the center gets a little bit short. Mm, maybe just a tiny bit more to dome. Okay, that should be good. And again, I'm just going to work what's already in this cup. The yellow light dye is so um, pigmented. That a little bit goes a long, long, long way. I've hardly put a dent in these silver flakes, and I've been using the same jar for two years now, maybe longer, and uh, I'm on my second Illumilite dye ever, so. I mean, I don't use it constantly, but I've used it quite a lot for as much as I have left. Okay. And I don't want to put any heat on the back of this, so I am going to spritz it with a mini mister. But I have all this resin mixed up, so I'm going to start a coaster as well. So I'm going to wipe my glove off a little bit. I'm going to get these cups out of the way. I'm going to scoot this back. And I'm going to grab a coaster mold. Oh, 
which is also a stone print. It's a little stained paint. Just trying to get any loose bits of anything off of here. Not worried about the pink. Just any other debris or anything. Okay. So I'm going to use um, I'm gonna go ahead and use this mixed up glitter I have. It's a blue and a purple shift. A mix of chunky and fine. But it's very pretty, so I'll go with a little bit more. And I don't know that I have enough mixed up to fill this, so if not, I'll have to top it off tomorrow. But it should, because this is one of the smaller coasters. Yep, 20. Perfect. I do need to put a little... Um, block under the back of this board though just to tilt it up a little bit because when you're pouring molds you do want to be somewhat level I mean you'd like to be perfectly level ultimately but that's better so now I can finish up So I mixed up four ounces and that got me through the feather and one coaster. Which isn't too bad. Alright, so now I'm going to take my gloves off and show you how I'm going to address the bubbles. Because I don't want to put heat to these. I just take one of these little mini misters. Um, these ones are Ranger. There's all kinds of small misting bottles. And I just fill it with my regular 91% isopropyl. You should be able to really see it on this one when I spray it. Put the cap back on. And you can see the bubbles popping off the top. This one I'm probably going to have to do a couple times because the glitter will hold, trap air. So the bubbles are going to rise. But the feather should be pretty good. And we will come back tomorrow and unmold them. Okay, I'm just going to get these unmolded quick. Coaster, super pretty. Look at the shift in that. That is it. And the feather. Let's see if the black pushed enough on this or not. See, I still think there's too much black for what my customer is looking for. I have a little green in there. So I'm going to basically re-pour this entire thing. Um, not right now because I don't have my resin mixed up. But um, I don't know. First I'm going to run this by her. And then I will do another 
because I'm not worried about it. These always sell eventually, so I'll do as many as it takes, but there are all going to be variations on black and silver for now, so, but I do think it's pretty. So, that is that for my two quick molds. A coaster that's going to go with, with a gift and a black and silver tray.